Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. It is time to do our first service on this new mill, and I want to bring you guys along so you can see how it's done. Let's jump right into it. So I'm not usually the one to service any of the machines. That is actually one of my mom's many jobs. But today, my grandpa is here with her because this is the first time getting this new machine serviced and we want to make sure that we do it right. And I'm actually pretty curious to see how it's done because I don't think I've ever watched them service the machines before. I don't know, I'm usually running the machines, not usually doing the maintenance. I do a lot of the maintenance, I grease, I do all that, but this is a first for me. So I'm hoping you'll come along with us here so you can learn something and we can learn it together. So let's talk to grandpa. I'm hoping he will give us um, a breakdown of it all here. So let's hear from him. So grandpa, what is all going to be included in today's service? We're going to change oil, filters, uh, fuel filter, air filters, and uh, maybe a little ahead of maintenance, but it's better to have it early than late. Okay, uh, yeah. How, how much is recommended? How much time in between services? <laughs> one of them calls for 250, one calls for 500 in this book, but uh, it's recommended 200. It's just a good idea just to do your maintenance, change the fuel, filter, everything. It saves you a lot of headaches, a lot of problems. Uh, if, we, if we change it soon enough, then we'll be good. So uh, how many hours do we have on the mill so far? I'd have to look at your meter up well, there. Well, you can go and, and check. Check your meter and see how many operating hours, running hours you have on it. Now, I'm always curious about the the hours on that thing. Is it when it's on or is it when the blade is running? When the, when the engine's running. When the engine's running. So if it's on and it's just idling, that's counting down. Okay, see that was something I always wondered about that. Yeah, no, Sometimes I'd look at it, I'm like, is that seriously right? But Yeah, I used to change my oil in a, in a drill rig every 200 hours, no matter what was going on, middle of the day, end of the day, whatever, it got changed. And I got a lot of hours on that engine. So you keep clean oil in them, you'll last a long time. Well, let's go, let's go check that out really quick. I'm curious. So just over 200 hours. I don't know if that's good for how long we've had it or not. I guess I could do some simple math and figure that out, but uh, I've never been a mathy kind of gal. This one though, on the other hand, you know what day it is for her, right? It's her birthday. It's her birthday. We cannot go without saying happy birthday. Happy birthday to Jade. Oh happy birthday to Jade. I don't care. It's okay to be cringe on your birthday because you deserve it. You deserve all the cringiness in the world, babe. Uh, thank you. So I guess we found a leak. What's the leak? It's a little hydraulic. Oh, hydraulic leak. Again? We've had so many. That's like the third one. First thing we're gonna do is drain the oil and get. Got it? Okay, so now we got the oil drained out. We drained out the majority of the oil, and then we moved, we dumped that bucket so we could hang on to it, it's heavy. And it was just a trickle coming out. So if you want to change oil totally, let that trickle come out because we got about another pint of oil out of it by just letting it trickle to a stop. 
And uh, if you're going to change oil, you're going to change all of it. You just don't want, okay, now let me hand, hand loosen that thing and get a rag under it. Run off the oil filter. I want to put a rag under it because it's going to leak oil. Whoop, 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 whoop. Take that wrench off of there. Okay, now. I don't know if I can get my arm in there. And turn that tip it up when you get it loose. Stand it up. Okay, we saved that mess of oil from getting all over everything. Grandpa always says to make sure that the seal comes off with the old filter. Yeah, make sure when you take this off that you check the seal and make sure that it's still on the filter because if it comes off and sticks on the on the engine there and you screw your other one on there, start this engine, you're going to lose all of your oil. I know. Now, take a little bit of oil and rub it around on the, on the gasket so that it's got little lube so that when you screw it on it doesn't damage anything. And we put her back on. Oh, we still, we're still losing some. You run them up snug and then give them about a quarter turn. You don't want to, <clears throat> you don't want to run that thing on there real tight because uh, it could, it could take. You might have to destroy the filter to get it off to get enough. Yeah, so we never use that tool to put it back on. No. Okay, that's done. Now before anybody forgets anything, next thing we got have to do is get oil in here and make dang sure that. about making sure these things stay clean. Okay, we got the oil drained, oil filter on, and continue with the operation that you're doing. Don't just go off and do something else and have a senior moment and not put oil in it. But diesel engines are expensive. sideways. It's not running out here, is it? No. Over or anything. Yeah, go ahead and check the dipstick first. Let's see where we're sitting. And uh, now you're going to lose a little bit of that dipstick uh, level when, when that filter fills up. You're going to, it'll drop slightly. Almost eight quarts. This wasn't, the other one wasn't full. Okay, we got, we got the oil level up to the full line. We should be able to notice a drop in it when it fills up that oil filter and I'm gonna have Emerald start, start the machine, let it, let the oil pressure come up and uh, make sure there's no leaks and then we'll shut it down and check the oil pressure or the oil level. <clears throat> we got the cap on. This is, we're completing one job. I, I want to change the oil to get it up and then we'll go to the oil filter. You can change them all at once but you're going to get a little bit of an air blurp on that engine when you, when you start it. So I want to make sure this job is complete. Because this is this the fuel filter. And you then we'll oil. change the fuel filter. Uh, this oil is kind of the lifeblood of these engines, so let's make sure we complete the job before we go to something else. Okay, you can start the engine now, and we'll let it run just, just a short time, and I'll have you shut it down. I'm going to check for leaks. If there's a leak, 
I'm going to have you shut her down. She should have an oil pressure gauge in there. That thing ain't working. This fuel filter was so tight and there's so restricted space in there, <clears throat> we could not get any travel on any of the any of the filter wrenches. So, and it was super tight. So I ended up having to drive a screwdriver through it and push like crazy. And I drew, I shot three holes through it before we could get it loose enough to come off. And so. Now, is there an O-ring missing here? No, it's just pressed back in there, isn't it? Is there an O-ring right there like this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is not gonna go on there that tight. Uh, I need to fill this up with diesel. Diesel engines do not like to run on air. You don't wanna have to go through that. So I'm gonna fill it up. Will it leak out of here? Yeah, always have to fill these up so that that engine will suck fuel instead of air. I'm glad we got the other one off. Yeah. <laughs> no, <clears throat> okay, I filled that filter all the way clear to the rubber, clear to the top with fuel. Got it back on here. I just need to snug it up by hand. That should be tight enough. Wipe it down, see. And we're not getting any leaking in on it. I think I'm gonna have you start that and go ahead and make sure and then we'll do the air cleaner, okay? Okay, this is a water separator here for your fuel system. You gotta turn this little thing open and run it in something you can you can see here. I mean, there's a visual on it, but now tighten that back up and look in here. You got no bubbles. You got no water. Your water would be settling in there. So that's that's real clean. No problems with that. So I'm not too sure I'm going to change this filter because there's not a there's not a problem with it. We'll save that filter for a while, say maybe a few more hours. Now we gotta change air, air filters and we're, we should be ready to go. Hey. Oh yeah, we're due here. There's only one. This isn't a double, I don't think. Maybe it's supposed to be. Well, thank goodness Grandpa is here because I don't know if my mom would have been able to figure that out on her own with that fuel filter being on so freaking tight. Well, the next time that should all go a lot smoother and faster. That took quite a bit of time, but I think we can finally get back to milling. So we'll leave you here. Thanks for watching everyone. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up as always and subscribe if you haven't. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.